everybody, it's Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another hair dye video. You're probably wondering, Alyssa, you literally just dyed your hair like three weeks ago and you're absolutely right. I dyed my hair blue three weeks ago and I don't like it. And it's not because I don't like the color. I think the color comes out good. I like the way it looks, but everything else I just don't really like. It, it looks me, it makes me look very washed out. I am white, like very, very white anyway, but it makes me look very washed out. It fades so quickly and it stains so many things. And you guys have given me a lot of recommendations on ones that don't fade and don't stain very much, but they're also like, they cling onto your hair. And a lot of you guys have warned me like, well, if you don't want blue anymore, this hair color is gonna stay in your hair for a long time. And I don't want that. So I'm gonna attempt to go blonde in this video. I haven't had blonde hair <laughs> since freshman year of high school like it's been a really really long time because I've never just had the um the motivation to really go blonde just because it's gonna take a lot of work to go blonde because I've had red hair bright red hair bright purple bright blue so every time I try to go blonde it just turns like funky colors but we're gonna try in this video and if it's a fail then I'm gonna dye it black or I'll dye it like purple or just not blue a different color so I just got back from Target and I got a couple things to for this process I don't really know what I'm doing if I'm being completely honest so let's I'm just being honest here so first I got some more color oops I used this in my last video to remove my red hair dye and it works amazing so I got another box of this to use this first and then a lot of you guys recommended getting a head and shoulders anti-dandruff shampoo so that's what I got I got some head and shoulders and I was gonna get vitamin C tablets but because of all the corona stuff that's happening right now everybody bought all of the the vitamins so I couldn't find vitamin C tablets but I read online that you could use this with baking soda so we'll see if this works together for color removal. And then depending on how much color I can get out of my hair as possible, then I'm going to bleach my hair because I have bleach from last time I bought a big tub of bleach. So we're gonna do that and see how that works. So this video is me going from bright blue hair to blonde hair. I don't know how blonde it's going to get. I do have a toner in my bathroom right now, so I may be able to tone it if it's kind of like an orangey color maybe. So we'll see, but it's, I mean, it's still very, very blue right now just because I recently dyed it not too long ago. Um, so, I mean, it's still bright. You can kind of see my roots growing in a little bit, but I just, it's okay to not have a hair color that you don't like. And I've kind of realized that now, like it's okay to change your hair. You don't have to keep it for a long time. And my hair's really, really healthy. I mean, I, I haven't had any problems with damage or anything since the last video. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to use bleach as much as possible but I am going to try to remove as much color. So I'm gonna go ahead and head on over to the bathroom and we're gonna do some color oops. And then after color oops, we're gonna do this whole mixture. I already mixed the color oops because I've done this in every single freaking video, so I'm not gonna show it again. You mix one into two and there you have it. So I'm literally just gonna start applying it. I'm gonna apply it to like the brightest parts first, which is my roots because underneath that was like really, really blonde when I dyed it the first time. So the last hair dye video that I did, I was talking about waiting for Animal Crossing, how excited I was, and now I have Animal Crossing, so I guess I can talk about the game with you guys, and I will be doing a live stream of it soon, hopefully. But I got Animal Crossing actually a day early because I got it, I pre-ordered it on Amazon and they sent it early. I got it on Thursday instead of Friday. It was really exciting getting it early. And it's been amazing. I've only been playing it for two days now, but it's seriously like everything I expected. So if you guys don't have Animal Crossing and you have a Switch, please get it. And I literally, we went to Best Buy today and my boyfriend bought it too. But today's like the first day that I've left the house in over a week because of this like quarantine thing that everybody's doing. Like I'm not allowed to go back to work until next week because my coworkers quarantined me because I was sick over the weekend. I literally have not left the house until today and it's so great to be outside. It's like 80 degrees outside. Okay guys, it is in, and I didn't even realize last time I did color oops, it says rinse with warm water and shampoo for 15 to 20 minutes. So you have to rinse your hair under the water for 20 minutes. Keep that in mind, you have to be under the water for 20 minutes, then you shampoo again and stand under the water and rinse for another five minutes. So you have to repeat that two more times after that. So you have 15 minutes, 
So you're looking at about like 35 to 40 minutes in the shower. The more you rinse, the more that's gonna come out and then you're supposed to apply a conditioner after as well. So I'm gonna wait 20 minutes for this to do its thing. Then I'm gonna get in the shower for 45 minutes and my hot water is going to be gone because my hot water does not last that long. And then we'll see what it looks like. Okay guys, you can kind of see what the color is. It kind of looks cool. It looks like a rainbow like it's like this really cool like sea foam like aqua green up here and then it goes to like a purple and then it goes down here to blue it almost looks like a galaxy like mermaid hair it looks really cool actually like if you were going for that but like this blue down here did not come out at all like this is so bright still so it's gonna take a lot of color removal to get this out i don't know if it's going to be easy to do but the next color removal mixture that i'm going to try is the dish soap baking soda and shampoo mixture. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it on camera with you guys just in case you've never made it before because I've never made it before. So first you combine all the ingredients in the bowl. So you need three tablespoons of baking soda. There's that and then you get four tablespoons of anti-dandruff shampoo, which is the head and shoulders. So I'm gonna do four of these in the bowl. And then you do one tablespoon of dishwashing soap. I just have normal dishwashing soap right here. So I'm just gonna do one whole tablespoon of that and pour that in there. And then you mix it till it's like a really smooth consistency and then you apply it onto your dry hair until your head is saturated. Cover your hair with a plastic bag and leave it on for 20 minutes and then you wash your hair with warm water and condition. So we'll see how this works. I had a lot of you guys message me and tell me that this mixture worked really well for your hair. Um, a lot of you guys told me about the vitamin C method, which I would totally use if I had vitamin C in any of the stores around me, but they are sold out because people are going crazy. All right, so I'm gonna get my gloves on. I'm just gonna saturate my whole head like I just did with the color oops and then wait 20 minutes and show you guys what it looks like again. Is what my hair looks like after the color removal I just did I feel like it did absolutely nothing I feel like the only thing it did was take out like the purple and kind of make my hair look a little bit more even which is kind of weird so I just I guess I feel like the next step is just bleach and I may be totally wrong about this and some of you guys may be like what the heck are you about to do but at this point <laughs> I don't really care. I really like this color. I think it's really pretty. Like this aquamarine seafoam green. I think it's really pretty, but we aren't gonna keep it. So I have the um, L'Oreal Quick Blue. What, I mean, everybody uses this um, from Sally's. And you take one scoop, there's a little scooper in here. So I'm taking one scoop of that in my bowl and I'm using 30 volume developer because last time I used 20 and you guys told me that it probably didn't work because I used 20. So I'm gonna try to use 30. And if I have to bleach my hair again, I'm gonna use 20. Use two fluid ounces of 20, 30, or 40 volume developer. I never really recommend doing 40 volume. It's like fucking crazy. So I'm just going to um, bleach my hair, doing my roots last, let it sit. I'm actually gonna use the foil method. A lot of you guys recommended that as well, using the foil method, where basically you wrap your hair in foil after you put the bleach on it, and then you just check it every five minutes or so to see how it's looking, and then rinse it out. And depending on what it looks like tonight, we're gonna do some more over the weekend, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay guys, it's been about 20 minutes since I put the dye in the hair. 
uh, or the bleach in the hair, maybe a little bit longer, maybe 25. And it looks like it's brightening a lot. It's turning purple, like pretty bright purple in places. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out for the night. See how it's looking when it's dry and then see. Figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow. As you can see, I didn't do anything to like my growth right there, my roots, so. Okay guys, so this is what my hair looks like after the first, first bleaching. Obviously it worked, but my hair is also eight different colors right now. So it's kind of hard. Like it'd be easy if my hair was like all this green color, I could bleach it again and then do a toner and hopefully it'll turn like a blondish color. But you know, down here, I've got all this red and purple to deal with and then some more green down here, but I'm actually about to cut my hair a little bit shorter. So I'm getting rid of a lot of this here because I like having short hair now. I'll cut off a lot of this like dryness, which is actually my hair feels pretty dang good. Um, last night I put this oil on my hair after drying it and it made it feel really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my hair. I'm not gonna film it, I guess. Oh, I guess I could, but I don't really see the point. I cut my hair myself at home like every time. So what I use is just these like hair cutting shears that I got from Amazon. They're kind of big. I need to buy like a new pair. I've had them for a while. And then I have these thinning shears because I have pretty thick hair and thinning shears is just really good at getting the thick hair out and thinning your hair a little bit. So these are the two scissors that I use. And I don't really have like a method or anything like that. Like a lot of people like, put their hair in ponytails and stuff, but I normally just part my hair down the middle and I just try to cut it even. Okay guys, this is what my hair looks like after the second bleaching. So you can see that it's very blonde up here at the top. We still got green and blue here and then we got purple so my next step is going to be color correcting instead of bleaching again because I don't want to bleach my hair again so I just got back from Sally's and I got a couple different toners that I'm gonna try because I have eight different colors in my hair so I have to tone with a bunch of different colors so first I'm gonna start with a green toner for this purple pink red tones right here I got the Arctic Fox Neverland that I'm gonna use toner as. They didn't have like an actual green toner in stock. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this as my green toner to tone out these pink shades, hopefully. And then for the green up here, I'm going to use a pink red toner. This is Spring Blossom um, Bright White Toner by Ion. So I've seen a couple people use this on YouTube and it works pretty good. So I'm gonna use that to try to tone out all the green. And then I also bought a purple toner, just in case there's any like orange tones afterwards, maybe tone that out. And then I got a 10 volume developer to use with the toner. So I guess we'll just see how it works. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'd rather use a color correcting method than bleaching my hair again. But it's very, very blonde up here and in some spots, but yeah. And my hair still feels really healthy because I just cut it like a couple inches off of it. So it feels good, but I just don't wanna bleach it again. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I am trying my best here. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is take the Arctic Fox hair dye and I'm going to tone the purple first because it's at the bottom. So it just makes more sense to do that. And this is already kind of a light green, so I don't really know if I need to mix it with, I may mix it with a bit of conditioner. I'm going to put a little bit of white conditioner in here just to make it a little bit lighter. And then I guess I'll mix it with my finger because I can't find my brush. It's just weird because like I have the opposite on the spectrum in my hair right now. So like when it comes to toning, it's just kind of like awkward. I definitely feel like I don't have a shirt on, so that's why it's like I look like an egg, but I definitely feel like it's toning it a little bit. Like I don't think it's full on toning right now, but I'm gonna keep it on for a little while and see if it works, but it's like turning to like a brownish color. So we'll see, I still have some left over, so if I need to like try to tone it again or something, it'll be fine, but I let it sit for 30 minutes and then I rinsed it out. I feel like it did a little bit, but the purple's not as bright and it's kind of brownish, but the purple is definitely still there. So at this point, I'm just going to use my reddish pink um, toner in Spring Blossom and go ahead and tone the screen to see what it does and then we'll see. I don't really know what to do at this point if I'm being completely honest with you. It says that you mix this whole bottle, um, two ounces of developer. It says that you can use 10, 20, 30, or 40 volume. I'm just gonna use 10 and 
apply it. Okay guys, this is what it looks like after trying to do the toning and <laughs> it looks worse on camera than it actually is in person. This old top part right here is like a very white blonde with a little bit of green tint in it. This is still very, very purplish pink as you guys can definitely see that. But I think if I do one more like bleach bath, like a bleach bath with like the shampoo and everything, that it'll get all of this remaining stuff out and then make I can try to tone again. But the toning definitely helped getting a lot of the green out for sure. I don't think toning the pink hardly did anything. But I'm gonna give my hair a couple days to rest. I'm gonna do a coconut oil mask on my hair tonight, so it's healthy and I'll um, bleach my hair again in a couple days. But I mean, my hair feels good. It doesn't feel like damaged or anything like that. I can run my fingers through it and everything. So, but yeah, up here it's like super, super white blonde. And then the rest of my hair is just like eight different colors, but. All right guys, this is what my hair looks like right now before I do my next and hopefully last bleach bath. So it's very blonde up at the top. The green's kind of going away, but the pink down here is just not going away. And there's a little bit of green right here. So hopefully this bleach bath will just kind of kick everything out enough where it looks okay to go out in public. Okay guys, this is what my hair looks like after that other bleach bath that I just did. It's definitely getting lighter, but I mean, you can obviously see how bright this pinkish red still is. So my next step is I'm literally just going to take the semi-permanent hair color, color again, and I'm just gonna dye all the pink parts green and see if it covers it. If it doesn't, then it's kind of like an orangey pink. Maybe I can try like a purple toner and see if that tones anything out and then tone the green with some red. Okay guys, so that toner did tone out a lot of the purple. Um, it's still there obviously, but it's kind of like a dull, like brownish, like light pink purple. Like it's very, it's faint. I mean, it's definitely still there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tone just the green and everything like that. See what it does. I don't know, I guess I'll figure out from there. But when my hair's dry, the pink is very faint, so I can deal with that for a while. Cause I'm gonna put a bunch of conditioner in my bowl. And then since I already used my like pink toner already, which did seem to work pretty good the first time I toned it, take like hella conditioner. And then I'm literally gonna take like a dab of just red, red hair dye that I already have. This is Vampire Red by Manic Panic. This is the only red hair dye I have. It's a pretty dark red, so I'm literally just gonna put like a little bit and I'm gonna mix it with this conditioner and use that as my toner and I also have a red shampoo that I have as well that I can use but wow that actually made it very red just doing that little little bit so I'm gonna put more conditioner in it and I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit see if it does any toning and if it comes out kind of like a coppery color then I can tone it with purple Okay, so I'm only gonna keep this in for about 10 to 15 minutes because it's already obviously turning my hair like pink. So I'll be back and show you guys the outcome. <laughs> Maybe my hair will just be like a pretty pink or something. Okay guys, this is what my hair looks like after toning it with the red. It is pink now. It's like a baby hot pink and I totally would keep this color right now. Um, but I'm not allowed to have my hair this color at work for some reason. I'm allowed to have bright red and blue, but I'm not allowed to have baby pink. Please make it make sense, it doesn't. But my boss said that I can have it pink for a couple days because my hair is fried right now. So I'm gonna wait about a week, um, do a couple washes, let this pink kind of fade out a little bit because now there's like brassy orange tones in my hair. So I feel like when I use this ultraviolet purple toner, my hair will be like a platinum blonde. Yeah, I am obsessed with this color. Like I would seriously keep it right now. I love it. I feel like I shouldn't even have tried to tone out the purple in my hair before because there was no point really. I should have just went ahead and done the red toner to begin with, but we live and learn. So yeah, here's what my hair looks like, especially up here. Like it is so pretty. It's a really pretty blonde. So I'm gonna wait about a week or so um, and tone it with the purple toner and we'll see if my hair gets blonde i really wish i could keep it pink but i can't this is i've always wanted this hair color but unfortunately i can't keep it so i will see you guys in a couple days okay so i'm gonna go ahead and tone my hair this has been about a week of me washing my hair with red shampoo and it's pretty much i mean it's like kind of red right there 
The blue is pretty much gone. There's some pieces, especially in the back, that are a little bluish, but they're hidden. I got all this brassiness in my hair now, so I'm gonna use that purple ultraviolet ion toner to tone this. I would totally keep the pink. I am obsessed with the pink, but I'm not allowed to keep it. So I would totally, totally keep it if I could, but blonde is the next option, which is kind of already blonde right here. I'm gonna go tone my hair. I'm gonna do it off camera because I mean, it's toner. Want to know what I'm mixing? I'm doing an ounce of the toner and an ounce of the, or two ounces of the developer. It's a one to two ratio because I don't use the whole bottle of the, toner so we're just gonna see how this works i really hope i don't f up my hair because i really like how it looks right now and health wise it feels really good it's a little dry but it's only when it's wet is when it feels kind of icky but when it's dry it feels super soft and stuff and i do put like different oils and masks in my hair too so i will be right back so i want to say that that purple toner did anything if anything it made my blonder pieces like white 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 as you can see i don't know i watched a couple videos where people had like bright bright pink hair and used a purple toner and their hair turned like white so i guess my hair is just stubborn or maybe the toner i got wasn't the right toner trying my best here so i'm just gonna go ahead and end this video here and kind of make it a how i went from blue to rose gold hair because that's pretty much what this is it's rose gold um, the brighter pink bits are definitely at the bottom down here, but I'm just gonna get another, another couple weeks of just washing, um, maybe wash with some purple shampoo, see if it does any changes or anything like that. But my hair is definitely very light. Um, <laughs> I'm not used to myself having light hair because I haven't had blonde hair in a very, very long time, like middle school. So it is definitely weird. Um, I cut a lot off, which made my hair feel a lot healthier. I kind of want to cut a little bit more too. Cause I've just really been digging the short hair look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Long story short, if you have blue hair, use a color removal. If you have to use bleach, use a little bit of bleach. If your hair is a light green, then take a peachy red, light red, put it over the green and your hair will probably come out a nice pink color. So it's pretty easy. I went through a lot of unnecessary steps. I didn't need to use that toner on the purple because I ended up using the pink anyway. So I, that step was unnecessary. I feel like I didn't need to bleach my hair as much as I did. I probably could have bleached it one time less, but I did do a bleach bath, so it wasn't as like damaging or anything like that. And my hair still feels fine. Like I said, it's just a little bit dry, but I use leave-in conditioner oils in my hair. Um, I did a coconut oil mask to really put some moisture in there, so. My hair feels pretty good actually. So I've got like some really white hair up here and the rest is just like, pink 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 but when it dries it looks a lot lighter so i think if i just keep washing it then it'll fade in like a week or two so if you guys want to follow me on my instagram you guys will see like the progress of my hair in the next coming weeks because i'm mainly going to post a lot of stuff on instagram the next couple weeks because i am like moving and with all this virus stuff going around my internet may not be up super soon when I move into my new place so I may not have internet for a while which makes it very hard to upload videos and be a YouTuber considering I work from home. Just follow me on my Instagram if you guys want to see like progress of my hair because I do take pictures of it every once in a while. And then all my social medias are down below. My Twitter, Instagram, OnlyFans. If any of you guys would like to follow those then the links will be down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!